This is a review of the Hornby Virgin Trains 125 train set. Um, this is the Hornby um, Virgin livery. So you get the standard Virgin uh, dummy car, um, two coaches which are Virgin livery, and then the striking Hornby um, livery on the power car. The power and dummy car have directional lighting, um, as can be seen depicted on the image here. Um, this locomotive, I believe in real life, was actually, I think it was um, Cotswold Rail that reliveried a real train, um, number 43087, um, with the Hornby livery, so it is actually based on a real locomotive. So this is the train set. You get over of track with a side in, let's say the four car train, and the track mat and instructions everything. And the model number is R1080. Um, so it's basically the same as the Virgin train set, but you get the different power car locomotive. So I'll open it up and um, show you um, a bit more about it. Um, I've changed a few bits and bobs over from the actual locomotive um, and the dummy car um, in the set, um, which I'll show you in a second just to show you what I've done. It's a little bit different. So be back in two ticks. So I've now opened up the pack. Um, this is the track section, which would have had the controller. Um, the box is a bit battered, but um, I've taken the controller out, so it's just got the track in there. But same as any other set, so I won't really show you too much. Um, you get track mat and detailing pack and everything the standard. But I'll spend a bit more time with the actual locomotive. This is quite a sort of the one, the Hornby livery one. It's a little bit different. You can see originally um, the locomotive just has a plain black underside whereas the coaches have a bit of detailing on the bogies so I've um, probably not the correct colours for the real locomotive but I guess in real life it probably wouldn't have gone with virgin coaches and dummy cars so I guess it doesn't make too much difference um, but I've changed the chassis over uh, with the bogies from one of the slightly newer first Great Western models so you've got a bit of detail on the other side so you've got the red detailing on the coaches and yellow on the power car and the dummy car so I think it just the yellow I think looks quite good with the yellow from the livery it's a real crisp livery this one it's not a super detail model but it has got um, the five pole motor in there as you can see with the greyer um, gears in there I've also fitted a driver in the cab as I've done on quite a lot of my power cars like I said this one's got directional lighting in the power car and the dummy car so it's a, just a nice model and you've got quite nice detail in the electrical little logos up in the top corners window there uh, plastic windows bit of detailing on the door I assume that's a door mechanism and handrails it's all molded into the plastic it's not like metal bits um, on there fairly average detail on the grill and the cab's got detailing and a wiper that's um, printed onto the or like etched onto the plastic um so yeah it's just a nice model and a little, little bit different really and you've got the exhaust grills on the top the coaches uh, i'm not sure if they're quite the correct models because i tend to swap bits and bobs around but i've got coach e and f so i assume it probably is correct they're the scale length coaches like so they've got the detail on the bogies real nice crisp livery on them for quite a basic sort of price set I actually quite like these Virgin coaches, I think they're quite good. So and then that's so that's coach E. See the detail you've got. See you there. There's the E. Detail on the end. And then this is F. It's basically the same, both standard class C10. There's coach E was four um 42320 and coach F is 42321 so it does look like they probably are the right ones numbers wise um, the dummy car I've actually swapped um, in this set I got this separately um, online um, it did come with um, model originally comes with by the looks of an unnamed dummy car I swapped it with the quite well very common model which is the um, 43093 and it's lady in red and I'll swap the bogies over as well but there's a little bit of difference on this one is the fact that it's got the press office uh, virgin old press office number on there so I don't know the information about this but I assume some were given out to contacts and whatnot 
and it's been lacquered as well so unfortunately it is a bit shinier than the standard models as you'll see um, but it's still quite neat so I thought it made sense to keep that that um, body you can see it's a lot shinier all over and that you can feel it is actually on the surface so it's a little bit different it's the same detailing as the other model like say I've done the bogies I didn't put a driver in this one because I tend to normally run them with the power car facing forwards because it makes life that little bit easier with the couplings and everything but yeah nice detailing haven't got um, painted um, piece on the sliding door there but you've got the handrails on the doors and the wiper on the window you've got like the rivet effect into the plastic on the underside of the front um, both of the um, ends look pretty much identical it's a really nice model um, I was tempted to um, get another power car, the Hornby one, and put it on both ends, but I went against it. I find they're quite easy to get the bodies off these. You've got clips here, there's um, obviously on both sides in the middle, the front and the back. I normally find the easiest way, I probably won't work now on camera, is to pull the body away slightly just with your fingernail like that on one side, hold it out and do it on the opposite side, if I can. So that just brings, slightly bends the body down underneath and then I just wiggle it a bit, pulls the back one off like so and then do the same with the front because you can get your nail in slide your nail down through if you can undo that front clip like that and the same the wig front should just wiggle off and then it comes apart so it's so quite an easy little job no screws or anything but this is not the super detailed one you can see the light bulb on the front there you've got a um, so this has got the, I believe that's the 5 pole motor um, and it's got better contacts to the wheels so you've got pick up from those wheels and the wheels down this end so a bit more um, uh, should be a bit smoother when it's running because it shouldn't lose the power we're getting power from more wheels you've got a they put a diode in there um, it's not a DCC ready model so it's only for analog unless you would have sort of hardwire a chip in but they put the diode in so that the when the power's going a certain way it will turn the bulb on the front which shines through the lens for the light through from the inside of the chassis there um, and like I said I fitted the driver he's a Hornby sitting person he's got a bit of super glue remains on him um, he's been cut down like his arms have been cut off and his legs and I thought he's got the green overalls, so he looks quite, um, quite sort of traditional. Looks quite cool. So yeah, that's the chassis. It's a made in China chassis, as per the train set. So yeah, hope you like it. Um, see how crisp the livery is. Definitely worthwhile for the collection. Thanks for watching.